This videotape will present and demonstrate correct setup and operating procedures on the Antex VR2000B videotape recorder. All major accessories are included with the exception of Editec. These are the major subjects to be covered. Installation of the video head, sweeping the video head, use of the standard alignment tape, and optimization of the head. Upon completing these operations, we will make a standard recording and evaluate the playback. The video head is always installed with power off and the air system disconnected. Remove the head from its shipping and storage box and place it in the correct position on the top plate. Install and tighten the two mounting screws at lower right and left center. Do not over tighten these screws. The captive screw at the upper right hand corner should then be tightened securely to ensure satisfactory operation. Install the mating plug at the right hand side of the head and make sure it is securely seated. Place the play record switch on the head in the record position. Reconnect the air system and turn the power on. The head should be swept as the first setup operation. The entire tape bath should first be thoroughly cleaned. Because it is necessary to have tape on the machine while performing the sweep operation, the standard Antex video alignment tape, catalog number 50262-07, may now be threaded. Under no circumstances should the recorder be placed in the play mode at this time. With the channel selector switch in the channel B position with the blue light lit, remove the normal low band module from standard A position and replace it with the head align module. Now place the channel selector switch in the channel A position, white light lit. Remove the built-in sweep cable and injection loop from their storage place in the control panel drawer and install by attaching to the video head on the mounting stud provided. The AFC clamp switch on the lower right electronics panel is placed in position number three, designated off, off. And the head align switch, which is to the right on the same panel, is placed in the position designated channel one. The female guide will click in as this last control setting is made. For this reason, it is imperative that the video head never be operated while this switch is in any of its test positions. Select head align on the A-scope selector. Turn the video head manually until maximum upward indication is visible on the A-scope and examine the shape of the display. This shape is determined by the adjustment of the frequency and Q controls on the playback channel amplifiers at the lower left of the signal system's electronics bay. Too high a setting of the Q control results in a sharp bump in the pattern while too low an adjustment produces a dip. Adjustment of the F or frequency control changes the overall shape of the display. The object of the adjustment is as flat a display as possible without breaks or bumps. The display seen here is optimum for this particular head channel. 
When channel one is satisfactorily adjusted, move the head align switch to channel two and repeat the procedure with head two and continue with channels three and four. All channels should have approximately the same response when the sweeping procedure is complete. It is desirable that this procedure be carried out on a daily basis. It must always be done before attempting to optimize the video head. Now move the head align switch to operate, which will cause the guide to move out of engagement, and return the AFC clamp switch to position number one, on, on. Select channel B. Replace the head align module with the normal low band switchable module. Reselect channel A. Remove the sweep probe. We are now ready to use the alignment tape, which is already in place on the recorder. Place the servo mode switch in the preset position. Place the preset reference switches on intersync in record video and playback external. Make certain that the record play lever on the video head is still in the record position. Select DMOD out on the monitor switch panel and operate the play control. Select switcher RF output on the A scope and adjust tracking control slowly for maximum display. Select AMTEC error on the A scope. This will give an indication of error in terms of tip penetration or skewing which may also be observed on the picture monitor as the Venetian blind effect. Adjust the record set screw on the video head to minimize skewing. This may also be checked by observing AMTEC error on the A-scope and adjusting to minimize. Either velocity error or AMTEC error A-scope positions may also be used to observe guide height or scalloping error, which is corrected by adjusting the guide height screw on the front of the video head vacuum guide. When tip penetration and guide height have been correctly adjusted, stop the recorder. Move the record play lever on the video head to play. Select manual at the tip projection or auto comp control switch and turn the tip projection knob to the 12 o'clock position. With the A scope in the AMTEC error position, start the recorder in the play mode and observe the A scope or monitor for skewing. If skewing is present, loosen the locking screw on the tip projection motor shaft and adjust the set screw to minimize the error. Retighten the locking screw. Audio playback levels should also be checked at this time. Select line out on the audio meter switch and select preset at the audio playback level control. If this does not produce a reading of zero VU on the audio meter, adjustment of the factory set audio playback level trim pot in the audio playback electronics is required. This is normally a maintenance adjustment. Rewind and remove the alignment tape. 